my channel if you're new here. My name is Alyssa. And as promised, we are back with another meal prep video. This is episode number seven in our meal prep series. And today I have got a fall inspired menu for you that is full of warm, hearty, delicious meals, all of which are gluten free and vegan. I know how much you guys absolutely love these videos, so I'm super excited to share these recipes with you. We are making a vegan pumpkin bread for breakfast. We're making a harvest quinoa mason jar salad for lunch. This is the salad that I mentioned in my last video. And we are also making my sweet potato quinoa black bean chili for dinner. So all of these meals are super nutritious. They're really warming and hearty and comforting. And you guys are absolutely going to love them. As always, all of the recipes are linked in the description box below so you can check those out. I have also included the link to the meal prep playlist. Also encourage you guys to check out the other episodes in the series as well. And last but not least, before we dive into our recipes today, I also have a poll for you guys that I would love for you to answer. It's just gonna help me get to know you a tiny bit better and that way I will continue to create videos that you guys enjoy and want to watch. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. So we're gonna start our day with a really healthy and delicious vegan and gluten-free pumpkin bread. We are gonna start by making two flax eggs. So we're combining two tablespoons of flaxseed meal and six tablespoons of water in a mixing bowl. And you're just gonna stir this together, let this sit and gel for about five minutes while you combine all of the dry ingredients. So for our dry ingredients, we are doing almond flour, quinoa flour, flaxseed meal, arrowroot powder, coconut sugar, coconut flour, baking powder, baking soda, sea salt, and pumpkin pie spice. And we are just going to whisk this all together until it's evenly combined, and you can set this aside and go back to your wet ingredients to combine all the wet ingredients together. So we have our two flax eggs here. We are also gonna add in some pumpkin puree, as well as some maple syrup, olive oil, and apple cider vinegar. And you're also gonna add in some non-dairy milk, but I <laughs> forgot to do this while I was filming. So it's a quarter cup of non-dairy milk as well. And then you can just stir this all together, whisk it up, and we are gonna just pour it into our bowl with our dry ingredients. And you're just gonna stir it all together with a spatula until it comes together. It's gonna be kind of fluffy and smooth, and it's not gonna be super wet like a traditional quick bread batter, but trust me, it will still be fine. So basically we're just going to transfer this batter into a greased loaf pan. And I like to smooth it over with a spatula or spoon. And then to garnish it, this is totally optional, but I like to sprinkle on some raw turbinado sugar as well as some pumpkin seeds. It just adds a really nice flavor, a nice little crunch, a little added sweetness, and it looks really pretty when it's taken out of the oven. So then we are going to bake this for 50 minutes at 350 degrees. And then you're just gonna let it cool in the pan for about 10 to 15 minutes and then transfer it to a wire rack and cool it completely before you slice it. This is really important. You don't wanna slice it while it's still warm or it will be kind of gummy in the center. So once you slice it up, you can slice it into however many slices you want. If you are eating for just the week, you could slice it into 10, but it often also can go up to 12 or 14 slices depending on how much you wanna eat. So I like to use two slices of this for breakfast. I will just take it in a little stasher bag like this and I'll take it with a little packet of almond butter with me. Um, but you could also just pack this in a little plastic bag. You can eat it as is. You can heat it up in the microwave. I personally like to toast mine. And if you are going for the five days, you might want to keep some of this in the freezer, um, but that's just optional. I find that it keeps the best when it's frozen and then toasted or thawed in the microwave. And it makes a really yummy fall breakfast. So our lunch is going to be the Harvest Quinoa Mason Jar Salad. And the ingredients we're gonna use for this are cooked quinoa, roasted sweet potatoes, roasted Brussels sprouts, some cooked chickpeas, chopped pecans, a creamy tahini dressing, as well as some spinach. We are going to start by roasting our veggies. So we're gonna add the sweet potato and Brussels sprouts onto a baking sheet. And then you're just going to drizzle them with some olive oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper. And then we're gonna roast this at 425 degrees for 30 minutes and stir them or flip them about halfway through so that you cook them evenly. 
And here is what they look like when they come out of the oven. So perfectly roasted and tender. And I'm just gonna let these cool while I make the rest of the salad. So for the dressing, we are going to add olive oil, tahini, apple cider vinegar, miso, and some garlic powder. And you're just gonna whisk this together and it's gonna become pretty thick, so you're gonna wanna add in a little bit of water. I added about a tablespoon, but it depends on the thickness of your tahini. And you're just gonna stir this until you get a really kind of drippy, pourable texture. This is the texture that you want. And then we are ready to assemble our salad. So we are gonna start with the dressing on the bottom, and then you're gonna add in the chickpeas, and this helps the chickpeas get some nice flavor and marinate in that dressing. Then I like to add on my quinoa. And if you don't like quinoa, you could also use brown rice or another cooked grain. The roasted Brussels sprouts, roasted sweet potatoes, the pecans, and then you're gonna top it with the spinach. And you can just seal this salad up and leave it in the fridge and it will keep for at least four to five days. And when you are ready to serve it, when you get to the office or school, you can just unscrew the lid, dump it onto a plate or a bowl, stir it all together, kind of get the salad dressing mixed in there and enjoy the salad. It's so simple, it's so hearty and packed with flavor and I know you guys are going to absolutely love this one. And then for our dinner, we are going to be making my sweet potato black bean quinoa chili. This is a really easy recipe. We're basically just throwing everything into the crock pot and letting it cook. So we're gonna start by adding our vegetables. So the sweet potato, as well as some red bell pepper, red onion, and garlic. And then we are also adding in a can of black beans, two cans of diced tomatoes, one half cup of quinoa, and then we're also adding in two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then the spices we're using are chili powder, cumin, and coriander. And we're topping everything off with some vegetable broth. So you can just pour the vegetable broth in, stir this all together. You can season it with a little bit of salt and pepper if you want. And basically just set this on high for four to five hours. And then just let it cook until it's thick and the sweet potatoes are totally tender and the quinoa has cooked through. And for serving, I love to serve this with sliced avocado on top. Sometimes I also have it with tortilla chips, or I like to have it with a slice of avocado toast on the side. This is a really filling dinner. I like to store these in individual sealed glass containers, but you could also honestly just store it in the crock pot thing and put it in your fridge and then just serve it as you go throughout the week. It will definitely last for the five days and it tastes so good, and this is honestly going to become your new go-to chili, I am sure of it. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's meal prep video. I'm so excited to see you recreate some of these recipes. As always, make sure to tag me on Instagram using hashtag simplyquinoa, or you can just tag my handle, which is at simplyquinoa. That helps me easily find your photos and give you a little bit of love and return. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, all of the recipes are linked below, the playlist is linked below, and I have also included a poll that I would love for you guys to answer. It is linked up in this corner, so make sure to answer that, and it's really just gonna help me understand a bit more about your dietary preferences, and it's gonna help me kind of guide the content as we move forward on the channel. So I would so appreciate it if you would fill out that poll and let me know how you feel. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure to pop them in the comment box below. I read every single one of your guys' comments, and I try to respond to as much as possible, so I'm always here to answer your questions. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would love for you to join our community here on YouTube. There is a red button right below this video that says subscribe. I have also put a link on the next screen that you can also click and subscribe yourself. There's also a little bell right next to that button. That will actually turn on your notifications and that is the best way that you can make sure that you never miss another video. I share videos twice a week on this channel, every Tuesday and Friday, so there is a ton of content coming your way. And of course, there is a ton of videos that you can browse through on the archives as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate you being here and being part of this community. I love creating this content for you and I hope that you are having a fantastic week and I will see you on Friday in our next brand new video. Bye guys.